Hey guys, welcome to tech to geek Today I'll be reviewing the Outera Unlimited World Gem engine. So it's a really cool new open source engine that a lot of games are looking into. Right now it's, it's still in its beta stage, but it's really well developed and uh, it'll be cool. So let me log in here. The game, uh, or the only demo game of this, it's called Antiworld, and uh, it's about $15, so it's not all too much. It's about what Minecraft was when uh, it came out in beta, and it works pretty well. So I'm going to fly around here a bit so you can see what it's all about. Uh, the big thing with Outera is uh, its ability to render an entire planet really from space, Like, because if I go out far enough here, see, it renders from space all the way down to the millimeter at ground level. So it's, uh, it's real claim to fame is the, all the fractal algorithms and everything that go into making this work. Because as you can see, as we zoom out, everything simplifies. And if we, would, if we were to zoom back in, all of that would be uh, re-rendered and everything to get those fractals looking good. And the whole point of the fractal rendering is specifically to take large-scale JS data that's only accurate down to the square mile. And through math actually interpolate what that would look like because if you have a big GIS map obviously you, you can see basic formations and once you get down to say the tree level where you could see a tree trunk you'd have no idea how to really map that because maps just aren't made that accurately so this uh, space as you can see uh, the shadowing there is pretty good but you know, it's still beta so now I'm going to zoom back in we're gonna fly back to that little airport scene so Obviously, this can handle everything very fluidly. Uh, the frame rate's been really constant. Uh, the other thing is they've uh, the developers of Altera and uh, the Altera engine have implemented their own version of anti-aliasing and vSync. So that's what's keeping this frame rate nice and clean. You can see everything is sort of rendering on on its own. It's a little slow, but um. This you know, just remember that this is only running on a Core i5 2500K system with uh, 12 gigs of RAM and a GTX 580. So by no means an extreme PC. And you can see here as we zoom in, the uh, the grass gets a little more uh, defined, and all, there are all these little ravines here, and the trees come in. And another big thing with the engine is is its actual ability to interpolate what. Uh, evolutionary forces would do to a landscape. So if you say defined an area, an arbitrary area that would be a field, you could set it to uh, over a period of time actually have that erode and make and slowly transition back to its natural state. And you can see here the uh, Terra engine does a very good job of defining where uh, exposed rock would be, where grass would be more exposed or dry based on its uh, distance to water sources, and also where trees would grow. Because you can see if I zoom out here, the trees really are either on hillsides here, since this is a mountainous area, and or where, you could, where water would flow. And wa water is something they're working on. Um, as I said, this is still beta software. It's by no means fully developed. And really, it's only been in development for eight months, so uh, it's in its very early stages of, de of development. You can see this would be a nice riverbed. And um, the other thing that's needing to be developed for this is uh, multiple biome support. Right now, everything is this Yellowstone Natural Park uh, forest type biome, and it looks great. But uh, if you go to the Sahara Desert, which you can, because you can just plug in coordinates straight out, um, that obviously you, you wouldn't be the Yellowstone green grassy natural park. So um, on top of being an amazing system to render absurdly large scales, uh, you know, models and things, uh, Outera also implements some pretty amazing physics features. So there's a, an, an entirely integrated uh, LOD system, so basically a system of uh, algorithms and other uh, mathematical sequences that help very accurately replicate flight and uh, the discrepancies that would come with flight in terms of flying a plane, rocket, helicopter, anything like that and uh, also taking into consideration the live rendering of uh, atmospheric um, particulate so fog, clouds, uh, sunlight, uh, all of that is taken into consideration. Uh, also there's a, a, a ton of, of algorithmic work that's been done in terms of integrating um, physics on gr on the ground as well, so I can actually 
spawn in a land vehicle. And right now they only have these two vehicles, uh, but the other cool thing about Oterra is it supports the cool lot of uh, 3D format. So for any of you who do any 3DS Max, Blender, rendering, if you wanted to create a truck or a plane or a rocket, you could throw it right into this engine to find a few things and have it be running uh, as you intend in any other engine within minutes, which is a really quite a big deal. So uh, the gauges aren't live yet, but uh, as you can see, you can look around. Shadowing's pretty good. It's a pretty simple model for the ones that they inclu include in the game. Um, and you can see that's not a mirror, that's actually a texture, but uh, mirror mirroring it will be in soon. If I hit C, I can actually change the view. So this is kind of the tire view. And uh, slipping around here, so, there, so it knows this is grass and this is kind of slippery. And if we slow down, you can see the texturing of the tires. And this is at the millimeter, remember that. So this, uh, for any game, is, is very high detail, very uh, high fidelity. Now if I see again, you can see the entire uh, device there. You can see the shadowing back to the left. And uh, the biggest thing to look at here is that you can see this eight-wheeled vehicle, or how, however many wheels it has. Yes, eight-wheeled vehicle. Uh, if you look at the back axle, there, there are a lot of articulated joints. And as you can see, as we're going over this semi-rough terrain, you can see all of those joints are articulating based on the actual data that's below them. And uh, if I jump over something or take a turn too fast, the, uh, the, the literal physics of this will react as such. Uh, and transparency is pretty good for now. Um, but yeah, it, it, you can see these physics are doing pretty well, and if I escape again I should be able to zoom out here so that's that uh, in terms of vehicles uh, there are also helicopters let me spawn one of those in or air vehicles so they have a plane and the combat helo which is the AH-64 so right now I do not actually have a joystick so I, I can't really use this but I can at least show you how well it can render uh, a helicopter you can see there's a little debug window up there. Let me, I'm not sure what that is actually. So here is a helicopter. You can see everything looks very smooth, even smoother than uh, certain games like BF3. See the tail rotor here, we can zoom around. And there's a lot of active sound rendering, so audio rendering. Uh, and you can see that, that hue of the windshield changes as we go around it. And if we go up really close, you can see down right down to the rivets, right down to this articulated joint for the landing gear. All of that works perfectly. Now, let me see here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what that, you yeah, know what that is, but we're gonna move on. So, uh, another really cool thing about Oterra is the ability to just pick and choose objects to throw right in and to see how the engine will actually level ground and terraform for whatever road you'd like to put in. So let's start with a dirt road. Uh, we'll increase the width a little bit, increase the border a little bit. Uh, the elevational data, this is how, this is arbitrarily how high you want the path to be relative to where you're placing it. Maybe you do a little bit of slant. So here you, you can hit control and click. I'm going to pick a few points. A little track here, and uh, really, the the one thing that this game is, what this engine will be really good with, uh, would be either uh, military simulations on the on the absurd scale. So from being from space to very high altitude to down on the ground, from different perspectives, uh, where you, you can just drop in all of your models, drop in all of your custom vehicles. It's open source, so you can put in interfaces. Uh, there's a lot of emulation. So it, the, what you can do with this engine is quite amazing. Now let's go look at the road we just built. As you can see, this is where it ended, so it's quite accurate. I didn't quite pull it all the way through. But uh, you can see here where it cutting, because I had it go a little lower, so it did cut into the ground and level everything. And you can see, so if you were driving in a vehicle on this, as a matter of fact, let me spawn in another vehicle. one with the, the back this time so you can drive around but any, any uh, you know high-end racing game or absurd multiplayer 
uh, game because there have been people who have taken this source and actually modified it to work as first-person shooters on the absurd scale if you're after the flag. And they're very simple, obviously, because they've been you know, just developed with this engine in its infancy. But uh, what you can do with this engine is pretty amazing. And um, I definitely recommend getting the free demo, which limits you to a few less vehicles and uh, updates. But if you do choose to get the $15 demo, um, it's a lifetime account, so as long as they're developing the Altera engine, you'll have your account, you'll have uh, discounts to anything developed from the Altera engine. And it's a really cool thing to mess around with, especially if you're into Blender rendering or anything like that. So uh, I'd really have to give, I've, I give a lot of praise to the, to the developers of this engine. It's a great little bit of software. It's really lightweight. It runs perfectly. And I've actually run this on uh, fairly low-end hardware. Uh, one thing to remember is that you do need at least an 8800 uh, GT from a uh, card from NVIDIA. Uh, this engine does work much better on NVIDIA cards since um, all of the terrain rendering is running on the GPU. So uh, if you iGPU, just don't even bother with this. Uh, it, Radeon cards, you, you could still do it with a Radeon card, but I'm not sure if it would work as well. So uh, this is the Outera engine from Outera. And uh, that's going to wrap this episode up, guys. Thanks.